Hey ladies and gents, this is Levin with TimeForRPGs.net giving you a basic tutorial on how to use ZSNES in uh, the Windows PC. So first off, you are going to need three things for this tutorial. You're going to need ZSNES, the actual game you want to play, and you might need an extraction utility. So first off, go ahead and head over to Google and uh, type in ZSNES and you should be able to find the file or you can actually um, head over to the info tab on the right and go to the their uh, web page and download that you should al also be able to find a game on Google not even going to get into the details of that once you've downloaded that stuff to either your desktop or my documents go ahead and make a folder let's see here I'm going to make a folder and call it SNES. And once you actually have ZSNES, go ahead and drop that bad boy in there and go into that folder. Um, once you're inside the folder, go ahead and make another folder and call it saves. And then one more. and call that one games alright so you got your ZSNES here if it doesn't look like mine with the little books stacked on top of each other you might have something that looks like a folder that's zipped up usually in Windows you can just right click it and you'll have an option that says extract all and you should just be able to click on that and it'll extract everything however if you don't have that option then you can actually uh, go back to Google and download a program called 7-Zip. It's free. It's an extraction utility. Go ahead and install that and then uh, come back to this. So once you've extracted the files into this folder you'll see a file called ZSNES and Docs. Docs is actually um, all the documents obviously. Make sure you know where those are. And ZSNES so let's see here go ahead and double click ZSNES and that will actually bring up the game itself which is which looks like this once you have um, ZSNES up we're gonna go ahead and go over a couple basic things first thing you want to check is your config and head to paths you'll see I already have mine set up saves and uh, snapshots and stuff that folder that I told you to make for saves you would want to double click on it and then copy whatever whatever file path that you have and then go back to ZSNES and when you click on the actual saves part you just press control V and it'll basically paste whatever you copied okay the next thing that you want to do is head over to input um, hopefully you have a gamepad I wouldn't try and play RPGs or Super Mario World without one so um, make sure you have that already plugged in and then you want to go to set keys when you do set keys that little dialog box will pop up and then you just follow the instructions you press up on your gamepad and then you press down left right start select a b x and y l and r and then you're done that'll set that up so you close that out let's see here next thing you want to check is the video options as you can see I'm using like a 640 by 480 because I use this to uh, record a lot of my games that I have a lot of people like to play in full screen um, if you do that make sure that your monitor can actually support it so it doesn't crash on you I actually recommend playing in a lower resolution because it looks better the uh, stuff on the side you'll see D S R W and F it tells you exactly what it is um, always try and make sure you have D selected because it allows you to mess around with the graphics in game and makes it look smoother. 
Um, w stands for windowed. F is obviously full screen. Stretch helps as well. So you can play around with that stuff. So once you have that set up, let's see here. You can go find your game. What you would want to do is actually find the, uh, the directory. Hopefully you made the games folder. Mine is called um, SNES ROMs and that one folder I told you about earlier and then you want to find the game that you want to play let's play Gun Gunman's Proof so when you double click on it the game will start now as you can see the graphics are pretty pretty smooth that's because I've uh, modified a couple things if you press escape you can actually put the game on pause and mess around with the graphics some more that's where filters comes in um, I always use Super Eagle because it makes everything look uh, really smooth the other options are there for you to mess around with uh, interpolation makes it kind of blurry so I never mess with that one NTSC filter makes it look exactly like a TV screen. I don't know why you'd want to do that if you're playing it on your computer. Um, two times side engine looks almost like Super Eagle, only it looks more more blurry. Same thing with Super uh, 2XI. The HQ filter, however, is very good if you want to play full screen. Just keep in mind if you have a NVIDIA card, um, some people have said that it crashes on them. There's a workaround for that, but you'd have to actually Google that. Since I always play in a lower resolution, I never use the HQ filter. I just know it looks um, really good. I also do a monitor sync with the V-Sync, so you don't have those lines like when you're playing, it'll be refreshing and you'll see a, a small line in the middle of the screen. Yeah, you don't want that. So let's unclick this and you'll see how it looks. See how everything got all pixelated? It does that in the in the thing too. So let's go back to the game. Yeah, you can you can definitely tell the difference. Alright, so other things to keep in mind besides the actual graphics, the F3 key for saving. When you want to save right in the middle of the game, you can press the F3 key and go through your save slots. And then you just press enter and it'll save in that slot. If you want to load from that slot, you can just press escape. Oops, wrong load. You can press open state and press OK to load state. Yes, it'll load whatever um, slot you were on last time, which is usually in the, uh, the picks, pick state area, so mess around with that. I know there's um, more key combinations. You can actually mess around with those. If you go to saves, you'll know what the actual key combos are. F3 is what I use to save. If you want to do a quick load, F4, and you want to do a quick save, F2, you can uh, change that as necessary. Let's see here. Other things that you might want to mess around with. Fast forward is the tilde key. The default pause game option should be a P. I changed mine to F8 for Cam Studio recording. And that should be it as far as um, the basics go for using ZSNES. I can say um, there are actually three really, really good emulators for SNES emulation. That would be this one, ZSNES, BSNES, the letter B. And then there's a SNES 9X. I actually love ZSNES because of all options that it has, like you know IPS patching, and it doesn't use up a lot of memory. So I would actually suggest sticking with this one. Um, however, you can check out the other ones by just googling those. I'll leave that in the the info tab. So yeah, that is it for the tutorial. So hopefully I've showed you something. I know my um, tutorial isn't that much information filled but it's you know a good start so if you have any questions leave a comment
and thanks for stopping by.